My brothers, go and see the condition of this world. We just came back from Egypt. We just came back from Egypt. Bilad al-Azhar. 90 million people. 95% Muslims. Go. You know what the growing trend now is amongst the youth? Wallah al-Azim, people I met myself and spoke to myself. You know what the growing trend is now? Atheism. Atheism. And this is a wallah, someone who's a miskin, hultu ta'bani, you know, look, you know, this guy's a fa'ir, doesn't have money, so he's lost hope in Allah. No, 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 no. Educated, has money, proper position in the community. Just be proved the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in my life. This world was always here and it will always be here. This is, yes, yes, atheism, naam. Why? Because the da'wah has stopped. Go. Go and see the condition. My brothers, this is your responsibility. Your Habib, your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to cry the nights. Why? Why? Why would you cry the nights, Ya Rasulullah, when Al Maqam Al Mahmud was given to you anyway? You're already going straight to paradise. He cried the nights for you and I. He cried the nights because he's seen these days were coming. Lebanese Muslim father is sleeping with his seven year old daughter here in Auburn. Astaghfirullah. Of course, brother, of course, when there's no da'wah in this world, this is what happens to the condition. Naam. This is what happens to the world. Your sister, your sister and my sister, she's walking into a tattoo parlor. Why? Because it's the in thing. And you and I, mashallah, we're talking about fishing at the end of the year. Your job is to establish din on this earth. The ummah is crying. Wallah al the ummah is crying for help. And you know what the poison is? You and I were convinced that this is the job of the mashayikh, mashallah. This is the job of the mashayikh. No, my brother, this is your job and it's your amana. And I'm telling you by Allah, you will be questioned for this on the day of judgment. In the hadith, Rasulullah is telling us that Allah, he sent an angel to destroy a town. Sent an angel to destroy a town. So when the angel comes to the town, he notices that there's a abid. There's a strong abid. So the angel's confused, he's thinking, what's going on? He goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Allah, you've asked me to destroy this town. But in this town, there is a abid who, listen, listen to this. He says, he hasn't disobeyed you the blink of an eye. This is an angel who only knows how to worship Allah. And he's testifying that this man hasn't disobeyed you the blink of an eye. What did Allah say? He says, start the destruction with him. Why? Because he's seen the condition of the ummah and what did he choose to do? Sit in his house and mashallah worship Allah. No, my brothers, no. We have a job, we have a responsibility, we have an amana. We were in Egypt. Let me tell you, brother, let me, let me, you know, boys here, mashallah, you know, wherever you go. Yeah, brother, jihad, let's talk about jihad. Wallahi, wallahi, the next guy who speaks about jihad, slap him across the face and tell him, wake up to yourself, brother. Go and see in Egypt, your sisters from Bilad the Sham. Yes, I've seen it with my own eyes. Your sisters from Bilad the Sham. They're going to Egypt for prostitution. For prostitution. Because of the ahwal are so bad. Naam, prostitution. Yes. And this is what's happening, my brothers. My brothers, we have an amana. We have a responsibility. Wallahi, wallahi, wallahi. Go out there and see the condition of this world. Go out there and see the condition of this world. The Sheikh was giving a talk, a small talk about Tahara. About Tahara. So one of the brothers, he came up to him after, he says to him, Sheikh, Malash, yani, you were speaking about making ghusl. He says to him, yes. He says to him, Sheikh, uh, you only make ghusl when you commit zina. Huh? Married for 20 years. Married for 20 years. Been sleeping with his... He's been sleeping with his, um, with his wife, huh? with his wife, and he thinks that you only perform ghusl when you are, when you commit the act of zina. And he's praying. And he's praying. My brothers, this is your responsibility. Wallahi, this is your deen. If you're waiting for Sheikh Fulan and Sheikh Fulan to come and save you, Wallahi, woe to you. Woe to you. Just like how you don't wait for anyone to come and pay your bills, why do you wait for people to come and teach you your deen? Why? Why? Why are we waiting for this person and that person? This is your responsibility. And my brother's malish, forgive me, I'll leave you with this last, with this last hadith, authentic narration, so that you and I understand the importance of da'wah in our life. Your prophet is saying what? He says, you will 
enjoy that which is good and you will forbid that which is evil. <clears throat> or what? Or la yushikan Allah an yubath alaykum aikaban min. Or verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will send down His punishment to you. What is the punishment of Allah? He says, Tuma tad'una lahu, wa la yustajabu lahu. He says, you will raise your hands and make dua, and Allah will not accept your dua. This is his punishment. Four million people in the haram every single year, four million people raise their hands and cry before Allah. Ya Allah Majid Al-Quds, Ya Allah Palestine, Ya Allah Suriya, Ya Allah Babar. I want to ask you something, is Allah deaf wa na'udhu billah? Allah, Allah, is he deaf yani? He can't hear them? Allah is blind wa na'udhu billah yani? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can't see them? Isn't he the one who says, when you ask me, I will give? But what's happening? What's happening? The Ummah is crying. No, my brother, there is a prerequisite. There is a condition. There is a condition before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can you accept your dua. And what is this condition? That you become a da'i ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is your role. This is your role. To establish deen in my life. What sort of deen? Full deen. And to establish deen in this Ummah. Zakla khairan subhanakallahumma bihamdik nashallahumma bihamdik nashallahumma bihamdik nashallahumma bihamdik nashallahumma bihamdik nashallahumma bihamdik nashallahumma bihamdik n